my YouTube channel Technopix. In today's video, we will look at FX5 View uh, PID building function. So in FX5 View, uh, we have this uh, PID building function for uh, four uh, PID loops. So for this, you need GX GXbox 3 version 1.090U, and for the firmware for FX5 View is version 1.280. So let's get started. First of all, we have this new project. Let's click OK. So we're using FX5 View as my PLC. So uh, now let's see uh, the parameter section. We go to the FX5 View and we have this. Uh, okay, this uh, few parameters here. In CPU parameters, you can see that we have this new function added as the PID control setting. Let's go to the PID control setting here. So, as you can see, we have four settings. So, that means we can use four PID loops here. So, let's expand this also. Now, to use this setting, first we have to enable it from here. We could use then we have control mode setting that is standard PID or heating and cooling. If you am using heating and cooling, then we have separate options for let's use the standard PID function. The direction for the PID that is reverse and direction action. That action for now we have two areas. This one is setting value and this is direct in that uh, device in that specification. So in the indirect specification, we can use like D100 or the any D register or any register which by which we can set the set value and the PV which we will get uh, is like say D0 that is present value the output MD let's say D10 or then we have or if you want to set the some value like if I am setting a, a standard value so I can also use like this 100 or 50 or 20 and so now moving to the PID form PID uh, values so if I am making constant value let's say 1 1 and uh, 1 we can also set it using the register let's say D11 D12 and D13 now let's move to the sampling time Let's say uh, let it be constant or we can also use the 15 or 14. The output cycle, let's say D16. Okay, and uh, then we have control output. So, in the control output, you can use Y as an output or you can use M bit. Let's say I'm using by 10 so that is okay now PID control execution command so this must be on if you want to use the PID so I'm taking it M0 then this have M1 is your auto tuning the status let's say M2 the auto tuning execution status let's say M3 then we have PID control function error display so let's say uh, error display is showing as M or Y or error code D uh, let's say 10 is my so this is all the setting you need to, to do so this is the value set values in the 100 the present value uh, that is feedback from the uh, uh, let's say heater that is coming from some couple that you to d0 okay so you need uh, some processing uh, uh, like uh, modules like if you want to use n log to register the matter that is that need to be added also the d10 is your output mv if you want to use the uh, manipulated value to perform any action like if you want to increase or decrease the speed of any uh, like uh, motor or blower that can also be used so here d11 is for proportional gain that is kp we have ti at interval time d12 
and there play time d13 the sampling time d15 so you need to insert like one is uh, equivalent to 10 milliseconds so accordingly you need to transfer the value in d15 then you have control output cycle like say the control output cycle means that uh, the mb suppose the mb is 0 to 100 so that 0 to 100 uh, is uh, how much of a particular time so that is also you need to transfer there you can use the default value like 100 and also in d15 you can use <coughs> then we have control output like uh, <coughs> if i am using some heater so i need to control the output of the heater that we can use by 10 uh, so that it can it can control the uh, heater for uh, the execution command we all we need m01 m0 to be true in case we want to use the pi then we have m1 so once you turn on the m1 the uh, logic the, the loop will go into the opportunity mode and it will automatically uh, turn, uh, turn this m1 to zero when the opportunity is complete so this uh, m2 is the pid control execution status so it will show you that pid is running or not the execution status is there we have this auto tuning execution status when you turn on m1 after the completion of uh, the auto tuning m3 will turn on and m1 will turn on okay m4 is the uh, error display that means if m1 m4 is high that means you have some error in the pid control loop and the error code will be shown in d110 so all this you need to do in the program click ok now in the program what we have to do is we have to you know uh, let's say throw and wait and you can show utm0 that is my so m0 is my pid control of pid on public off so this is all you need to do in the program to turn the uh, PID on and off you can set the values as shown in the registers like sampling time and the uh, PID if you want so that's all in this video if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you